Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys the jug update for like day four and five. I wanted to kind of condense this video for you guys since we didn't do too much the previous day. Um, yeah, so we are 95. Unfortunately, we did have one death due to a metamorph on Lake of Calandra. That shit doesn't even count, so screw that. <laughs> Lake of Calandra with metamorph is just busted. Uh, so I'm going to go jump into a tier 16 map to kind of show you guys what we are farming. Then we're going to talk about some cool stuff that's occurred. So, um, first off, you'll notice I have a six link. That six link was acquired via this exact map I am running now. So the map I am running is called Pen, and it has a chance to drop a div card called Chains that bind. If you are using my filter, it does pop up kind of like an exalt. So there's no way you can miss it. Oh, I would like to state as well um, that half, not half, two of my 11 div cards came out of a chest. We will be best friends, beast, until we slaughter you. <laughs> Actually, I think one was from a chest and one was from a barrel. Yeah, that sounds about right. Damage is feeling a lot better on the character. Um, for a while, we were, you know, we were ZDPS for a bit. We're still kind of ZDPS because we're running on a five link RF, but uh, much better than what it was before. Quartz Amethyst. Also, this latency, not sure what's happening. Let me just refresh this. There we go. Oop, harvest, I'll have to do that later. So, uh, one of the big things is our single target went up a lot from what we had before. Um, I still want our AoE clear to go up a lot. Like, our RF tooltip right now is, like, 330k. I would like to almost double that. Um, I think 500k would honestly feel really good. 500k with, like, Master of Fire would probably be sufficient for clearing. Um, but we're working on getting that up. That, unfortunately, is going to come down to, like, getting a six sling getting our new weapon and getting a new amulet. I would say those three things are gonna be three big things to increasing our clear uh, still, kind of like from what we have right now. I could say I could get some more levels, but we're 95, so levels from here on out are gonna be a bit slow. I guess technically I still could get to 97 relatively easily, but then it will start to slow down. Also, since we're Pretty much going to start farming bosses soon. Deaths are going to start happening every so often because, uh, you know, when you're doing like your Maven Tenways and your Guardians and stuff, you want to run your invitations as rippy as you can handle for your your highest chance at Awaken Gems, I'd like to say. What is this? Oh, it's powered. Cover. Uh... Sure. All right, so here, what the fuck? Okay, that was rude. Here is our new single target, and again, still a lot of damage to come in the near future, but this is what we have now. For a T16 map boss, its health is actually going down, so pretty happy for that. It was a bit of a journey to get ourselves here. Uh, when we get our Maven boots, damage will go up a lot more because uh, we'll get Scorch. Scorch is a big damage multi. All right, so that's a T16 map done on Mr. SSF Jug. Now I kind of want to talk about my upgrades and pretty much everything I have done. Uh, so before I get started with that, I do believe I had a clip for you guys, and I do. So let me actually go ahead and play it real fast. Uh, so before I talk about all my gear, I want to talk about my helmet. So I did end up finding two Elder Helmets. Uh, you'll notice it's item level 85, and I do believe I have another one right here. Oh, I have another Elder Helmet somewhere, and it's item level 85 as well. Um, the way I ended up getting my Elder Helmet was from... I got one from Elder himself. So first off, I made sure I was fully specced into these. So whenever I'm running the Guardian maps, I would spec into these nodes. Um, 
Same thing with Elder, I would spec into these nodes. So we ended up doing a full Elder set, killed Elder and got one helmet, and one of the other helmets, I believe, either dropped off of... I think it dropped off of a Guardian. Uh, I'm pretty sure it dropped off a Guardian. Uh, but they were just really barely giving anything, so Elder himself was definitely where we got most of our Elder drops. Um, so yeah, this is our old helmet that we were using. Um, this helmet got replaced really fast by RNG. So you guys all know how this helmet works. You take an Essence of Horror, right? You click it on the helmet, and in my guide, we talk about wanting Conk or Burn. Well, this one hit Conk. Um, so I crafted... First, I crafted Mana, or not Mana, I crafted something, and then I slammed it for um, Potential Life, which I got here, and it was usable, but it's really bad. So... Instead of this helmet, I want to show you guys my new helmet that I'm currently running, which is plus two AoE socketed gems with a life roll with a little bit of regeneration, but 30% more Ellie and burn damage. Uh, so before I get started, let me go ahead and give you guys the nice clip that should hopefully help you out. Right, so this clip here is assuming that you have crafted your helmet with an essence of horror and you have burn damage, right? So that's the, that's step one. Very, 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 very big gamble. Since we have so many divines right now, we're gonna go ahead and jump into a gamble. So, so step shit? one, we like our suffixes. Although the regeneration is really bad, we have 30% more Ellie with level 16 burn, obviously higher values. So if you look here, you'll notice, right? This is exactly like an essence of horror helmet would be. You have the level 16 burn, you have the 30% more Ellie, and then you have a usable suffix. Obviously, there could be way better suffixes, but this is what I happen to have. It would be better, but this is SSF, so we got to go with what we have. So, step one, we're going to put this right over here. We're going to do suffixes cannot be changed. Goodbye to Divine Orbs. Goodbye. From here, we're going to use the Veiled Chaos. We're going to close our eyes, and we're going to rub it on Chris Wilson. Okay, eyes are closed. When I click this, if we somehow land a life roll above 50 or conk effect it would be crazy now the purpose of what i just did there is to clean the prefixes and the reason i wanted to do that is because the prefixes were useless for me they were like minion damage and something else and i just could not really do anything with it so by doing what i just did i pretend i in most situations you will free up your prefixes and you will guarantee get a prefixed veil mod so here we go Okay, I rolled mana, which is really shit. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put this helmet here, right? And we're going to craft plus one number of skelly because this is the most common mod. From here, we are going to go to John. We are going to click unveil. We are going to close our eyes and we want to see plus two to maximum area of effect gems. I don't know, it's some shit like that. So here we go. Eyes are closed. Please, please, please. Oh! Okay, so the reason for crafting the skeleton mod is it actually blocks it from being unveiled. So whenever you are unveiling, you want to try to figure out the weight of what you're trying to do. Oh! Yes! Okay, now... Now that our eyes are open, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna craft... Life. Of course, it clipped that out, Twitch, you're toxic with your clips. All right. So that's pretty much how we ended up with our current helmet now. Massive upgrade from what we had. Um, now, it sucks as lab was so good to run yesterday, I was going to say I would actually be down to run lab since I do not think I'm replacing this helmet for uh, quite a while. Although it's still replaceable, it's very, very, very good. Okay, um, yeah, so to move on to the next set of gear, this is the same shield that I'm, or sorry, same amulet I'm still wearing. This is the same shield that you guys saw before. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same ring. This is the exact same body armor. Same thing with, yeah, same thing here. I think the only thing that upgraded here was actually my belt. I just straight up ID'd a better belt. Um, so some of the next things we're working on is probably collecting an item level 86 Void Scepter. I just have to turn on my filter. And we're going to use our fire gems here. So if I use this little string here real fast, one second. Okay, if I use this little string here, you'll notice these are all of my fire gems by quality, right? Uh, a lot of people ask where I farm these. For the most part, it's literally just random drops and alters, right? I just play a lot, so I've got like 300,000 kills in the character. Um, yeah, so then let's talk about, I guess you could say, the skill tree here. So, skill tree looks pretty much the same. 
Um, I think when I get Legacy of Fury, I might drop off, like, Bloodless and Call to Arms, but I don't know yet. Um, because for sure, when I have Call to, when I have Legacy of Fury, may not feel dependent on Call to Arms, especially when I get a 6-link RF, right? I'm still not using, um, I'm still not using Burn Damage, which would be my 6-link, and that's, like, so much damage, right? Um, I do have this chest piece, which I'm trying to currently off-color. Uh, I want to off-color at first, that's why we have the reduced attribute requirement, because that actually affects your chroming. Then, when it's close to being off-color, we're going to take it to Verici in Research here. We're going to push a Katarina to get Verici 4, and then hope he just makes the whole fucking chest white socket. That would actually be really ideal. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, everything is pretty much the same. I mean, I didn't really level too much, right? Levels come pretty slow at 90 plus. Uh, I did find a pretty sick jewel. There's this one. This one is attack speed, um, max life, and burn damage. And this one is, um, strength, armor, life, area damage. Armor is really good for Jug. I actually don't like that I only have, like, 33k that's like really shit actually last up i'm like 50k but i i honestly want like double this armor maybe triple this armor uh another option is straight up getting a brass dome i mean brass dome would honestly be incredible in ssf because the chances of me getting something better than a brass dome is pretty unlikely all right though i think that's pretty much it so hope you guys enjoyed the progression let me know what you guys think down below. Of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Um, and uh, of course, if you guys um, if you guys want to tune into the live stream, you can catch me streaming live every day, but Mondays at twitch.tv slash pox. Uh, I'd say one of the last things to do as well is uh, I do want to still fit in Skitterbot, and I believe Skitterbot is going to want Charisma Anoint and to come down here to this Aura Cluster. Um, I think, honestly, I may drop, like, Bloodless Call to Arms also for this. This gives me a lot of armor. Aura effect scaling is very big when it comes to scaling your determination. Alright, but that's pretty much about it, so see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.